Since 1964, Greater Manchester Police has remained committed to finding answers for Keith Bennett's family. Keith's family is central to any action we take in relation to this case, and the thoughts of everyone involved are with Keith's family. Dedicated officers remain in regular liaison with them to ensure they are updated on any progress made. We have always said that we would respond in a timely and appropriate manner to any credible information which may lead us towards finding Keith. Our actions in the last week or so are a highly visible example of how we would respond to this kind of information, with the force utilising the specialist knowledge of staff, experts and officers. <coughs> it is these accredited experts and specialists who have brought us to a position from where we can say that, despite a thorough search of the scene and ongoing analysis of samples taken, both by ourselves and a third party, there is currently no evidence of the presence of human remains at or surrounding the identified sites on Saddleworth Moor. <coughs> However, I want to make it clear that our investigation to find answers for Keith's family is not over. We understand how our communities in Greater Manchester feel about this case, the renewed interest in it and our shared desire to find Keith. Much of Saddleworth Moor is private land so we would ask that members of the public in the first instance report any perceived intelligence to their local police service. The discovery of suspected human remains must be reported immediately to enable the use of specialist resources to investigate appropriately. Thank you. And DCI Hughes has a few things she'd like to say. Um, yes, so firstly I echo the sentiments of uh, Assistant Chief Constable Sarah Jackson. The investigation into Keith's disappearance and murder has remained open since 1964 and it will not be closed until we find the answers his family have deserved for so many years. We are thankful for their continued support and ongoing in our ongoing inquiries. This has been a distressing time for them and we ask that their privacy is respected. The Cold Case Review Unit, supported by specialist officers and staff from across Greater Manchester Police, as well as experts from accredited partner agencies, have now completed the search of the, of the area of interest of Saddleworth Mall. At this time, there is no evidence of the presence of human remains. We understand the confusion which may have been, may have been caused into Keith's family and communities across Greater Manchester by reports to the contrary. We hope that by giving this detailed update today, we can provide reassurance that GMP are committed to finding accurate answers for Keith's family. On Thursday the 29th of September 2022, GMP were informed that a member of the public had located the body of Keith Bennett and had evidence of such. The same afternoon, officers from the Cold Case Unit and Scenes of Crime officers met with the individual. He informed us that he had taken a number of soil samples from Saddleworth Moor, which he had sent to a chemist contact of his for analysis. The chemist had informed him that samples included higher levels of particular elements that indicate the presence of human remains. He has then returned to the site to dig and recovered what he believed was a fruit stone, clothing material, hair and what he described as decaying body, body tissue, further supporting the indication of the presence of human remains. He also took a number of photographs which he sent to an archaeologist contact of his for analysis. The archaeologist had informed him that one of the photographs contained what they believed to be a human jaw. The member of the public provided us with the samples and copies of the photographs that he had taken and then he took the officers to the scene, to the location where he had dug and also provided grid references. Based on this information and being unable at the time to rule out the possibility that the photograph contained a human jaw, we secured the area. On Friday the 30th of September, independent accredited forensic archaeologists and certified forensic anthropologists together with GMP's crime scene investigators, began a methodical forensic archaeological excavation and examination of the identified area. The excavation was carried out to the same standard as a criminal investigation, and this was essential as in the event that we did find Keith, it would be required for evidence at Coronial Court. To ensure thoroughness, we also utilised the drone to produce images for analysis by a forensic archaeologist and trained GMP search officers conducted a grid search 
of a sizable area around the dig site. During this search, another area of recently disturbed land was found. This was also subject to a methodical forensic archaeological excavation and examination, and no items of interest were found. The items given to us by the member of the public have been examined by a forensic scientist, and though this hasn't yet indicated the presence of human remains, more analysis is ongoing. An accredited forensic geologist has also taken a number of soil samples, analysis of which is also ongoing. With regards to the photograph, we have sought the assistance of a forensic botanist, and we are now utilising the knowledge and skills of a forensic image expert to put a standard anthropological measurement to the object in the photo to assist with identification. At this stage, the indications are that it would be considerably smaller than a juvenile jaw, and it cannot be ruled out that it is plant-based. Accredited forensic scientists base their observations and determinations on credible evidence which can withstand the highest level of scrutiny. Therefore, they will not make declarations of certainty without necessary analysis of all the facts. The excavation and examination at the site is complete, and we have found no evidence that this is the burial location of Keith Bennett. To reiterate, forensic analysis is ongoing, but at this stage there is no scientific evidence to support the suggestion that human remains are present. Thank you. Russell Edwards went on to do many press interviews throughout the week. Although he removed this initial post very quickly after many people asked questions. He also quickly blocked anyone asking questions. And became angry with Keith Bennett's family, even though he had never met nor conversed with the family at any time during his investigations. I am not going to give Russell Edwards the airtime he craves, nor his excuses why nothing was found. He makes me sick to my stomach of how he went about this. Just another idiot who writes books about absolute shite and the media plug it. Instead here is Keith Bennett's brother's reaction to Russell Edwards and his whole fiasco currently played out to give him publicity to sell books based on his theories not facts. I do not know how anyone else feels but I would like to see Edwards arrested for wasting police time and resources. And would hope to see the mail giving out an exclusive apology to Keith Bennett's family for the pain Edwards has caused with this hoax. It appears that individual, Russell Stephen Edwards, asks why I didn't meet him and let him explain everything. The answer is simple, you never asked me. You just put this idea forward whilst on your media outlet tour. I would suggest we all get together, you, me and the police just so we can all be clear on your claims and why nothing can be found. I'm sorry to raise this point concerning the other victims, forgive me, but why would there only be a fragment of jawbone left of Keith? considering the condition of the other victims that were found? The two locations that Edwards referred to are not in the location of his supposed find. Does he always have a camera crew and photographer with him? If so I presume they have been trailing him for his, again supposed, seven-year searching. Or was it just by pure chance and coincidence that they were with him on his supposed find? What makes him think that a team of highly trained professional forensic archaeologists, scene of crime officers, a botanist, a facial features expert, lab technicians, another team of officers walking them all both in front and behind of his supposed find searching the ground, drone operatives and the complete professionalism and care to conduct a search thoroughly could not find what he is supposed to have found. I have seen the way those forensic archaeologists work, it is all painstaking trowel and fingertip searching and sifting of anything removed from the ground. I have been advised and helped on the more by archaeologists and that gave me a real insight into just how they work to make sure they don't miss anything. How can he self-pityingly state that I'm trying to ruin his reputation when he is doing a perfectly good job of that without any help from me? Seems a little strange that all his experts appear to be friends of his. How can he state that we have been searching in the wrong place when our 30 years of experience dwarfs his alleged 7 years of investigation, whilst at the same time he puts place names of locations in different incorrect areas of the moor? The mystery woman that joined forces with him and opened his eyes to locations must be as hopeless and helpless as he is. Why did he go to the Daily Mail and get their backing before he went to the police? Will any payment he received from them be paid back now he has proved to be a completely deluded individual? Will he apologize for the anguish, anger, hurt and distress he has caused by his thoughtless, heartless and publicity-seeking actions? 
Will the Daily Mail print an apology to Keith's family for being part of this fiasco? Will they and Edwards foot the bill for the police operation and waste of police time and resources? From his supposed find of bone fragment, skull, hair, material and body tissue there is absolutely nothing to be found now and no trace of any of those things. He had the nerve to get angry when I said he was in the wrong area and he had not found Keith, then expected thanks from me. He now states the location has been destroyed, wrong, the site has been thoroughly searched and you have been exposed as the delusional individual we always suspected you were. Just a few thoughts and questions for him to be getting along with and maybe answering. I would like to think that no publisher or anybody in that profession would now not touch him with a barge pole if they have any morals or ethics. There is more but I'm tired and weary of people like him and that will do for now at least. I'm just left with a feeling of utter contempt for him and his actions and I know the rest of Keith's family feel the same, along with anger and pain.